the U.S. has banned oil imports from Russia. Russia is offering crude oil to India at a discounted price. So should India accept this deal and accelerate its growth by using this cheap energy supply? In your opinion, what should India do to utilize this deal as well as not get into the list of Russia supporting nations of the West? You know what's interesting? Uh, India used to buy a lot of oil from Iran, our neighboring country, Iran, almost neighboring country. So when the relationship between the Americans and the Iranians went bad, when it went south, the Americans arm twisted India, they pressurized India into stopping its uh, its relationship of, of buying oil from the Iranians. So India was no longer allowed by the Americans to buy oil from Iran. Do you understand what that means? The Americans can decide what kind of foreign policy India should pursue. What does that tell you? That America has a lot of influence in India. I mean, it's all arm twisting. It's all done by force. It's coercion. But they have that sort of influence in India. And India, when they demand such things, India has no option but to accede to their demands and threats. Right. So the Americans forced India to stop buying oil from Iran. Now, and, and what they have also done is that they have imposed a, a whole lot of sanctions on Venezuela. Because Venezuela is a country they don't like and because it's a socialist country and so on. It's a country in South America, I'm sure you know. Right. So they had imposed sanctions on Venezuela. They, they were preventing other countries from buying oil from Venezuela as well. Now that they have blocked Russia uh, countries from uh, buying Russian oil, they again want to start buying oil from, from Venezuela. Right. So that is the kind of policy they have. When it suits them, they will do it. When it doesn't suit them, they'll do something else. But for us, we have to dance to their whims and fancies for India, right? So when they demand that we should stop buying oil from a certain country, we have to immediately comply. But next week, if they feel like again, start uh, starting to, if they feel like uh, buying it again from that country, then they will do it. So there is no consistency in their behavior. Right. So that, that's what I would like to offer to all of you first, that there is no consistency. They, they talk about a rules based system. There are no rules. The rules change every five minutes. It, the rules change on their whims and fancies, depending on what is best for their country. But what's best for us doesn't matter. We just have to obey their orders. Right? That's how it is. So the question today is, should India buy cheap crude oil from Russia? Obviously, it is in India's interest to buy cheap oil wherever it comes from. And we have a good relationship with Russia. Now, the Americans obviously won't like it. But the, other, the, but the real question is, is India in a, in, a, in, a, in a position to buy large quantities of crude oil from Russia? Does India have storage facilities? That's the question. Uh, it appears that India does not have large storage uh, capabilities. I mean, I remember reading a few years ago, like three, four, five years ago, that India was constructing large undergra underground caverns for storing uh, enormous quantities of crude oil, you know, strategic oil reserves. I'm not sure how far that has progressed, but it appears that as of today, India doesn't have the kind of capacity we should have in order to be able to benefit from such a windfall that a country offers us very cheap crude oil. I am not sure if India has the capability, the capacity to store large quantities of such oil. So in case we have some leftover space in which we can store crude oil, it may not be a bad idea to buy cheap crude oil from Russia. Of course, the Americans won't like it. And India may have to face some repercussions from for, for doing that. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a question that India should consider uh, seriously. But it is also, uh, we have to consider the pros and cons. First of all, do we have the cap capacity to store a large quantity of uh, cheap crude oil if it comes in? Do we have the capacity? Secondly, if we do have the capacity, if we do have the storage uh, capacity, then is it a good idea to risk uh, the wrath of the U.S.? If we buy the the Russian oil, because the Americans are already very, very kind of kind of furious with India, because India has uh, not bent its knee to American demand this time when it comes to voting against Russia in the UN Security Council resolutions. India has refused to vote against Russia. So there is this tsunami of uh, blowbacks coming on India, privately, publicly, publicly on social media and other places as well. And there must be diplomatic. Uh, 
uh, repercussions also and other things also so if india goes ahead and does one more thing like this and buys crude oil then we could face some bigger repercussions from the us maybe sanctions of some kind who knows anything is possible they are already talking about sanctions uh, the cats has sanctions c a a t s a sanctions because india has bought the russian s 400 uh, missile defense system so the americans are, are not happy about that also they may they are still considering they are still threatening that they may impose the cats has sanctions on india so we have to see how that goes so they are already pressurizing us they are already threatening us and if we do this then there could the, the threat could really materialize so uh, the thing is when it comes to the us there's always a threat on your head they are the global hegemon they are the guy with the biggest stick and the stick is always ready to fall on your head if you don't behave and if you don't dance to their whims and fancies so that's where we are so it is obviously a good thing for india if we have the storage capability this is storage capacity to buy cheap crude oil from russia but what are the consequences of doing that that is what india needs to consider if it has if we have the extra storage capacity